So Veracruz is um, also like connects with Tabasco in the part of petroleum. They do more of the factory work. Um, so the zones there are Quatza, Quatza, I just say Quatza, Quatza. <laughs> um, that's all they say. Quatza, um, Minatitlan. Um, there's Mina Tech, y Mina Mex. So they have two zones, and then um, Akayukan. In Quatza, they have the factory work. Um, they make sure all the chemicals get out that aren't supposed to be there. And so you have lots of factory workers in that area. Um, Mina, you can s also, there's like one plant in downtown Mina that cleans air, like the area, and you can smell the chemicals in the air, which is something that was weird when I first got there. I was like, what is this weird smell? But um, you get used to it. And then Akayukan, um, it's a smaller area, more rural area, um, lots of hills. Like it was the coldest part of the mission, which isn't saying much because it was like 80 degrees was the coldest it ever got. But um, it was more hilly and more windy. Um, Veracruz, the people there are so good. Um, very, very, very humble people. It doesn't matter what circumstance they come from. If they're from more higher economic status or lower, they are just humble and good people, um, really willing to change and to become better. Um, they also are known for having the best food. Actually, Oaxaca is known for having the best food, but all the Oaxacanos move to Veracruz, and then Veracruz gets really good food. Um, so I ate really well when I was there. They have these things called mamelas. Um, that are very, very common. They're like these giant, thick tortillas. Um, and they put, <laughs> it's not going to sound very appetizing, but it really is. <laughs> so they're uh, giant, thick tortillas. They put pig lard lightly on top of it, um, which might not sound very appetizing, but it tastes really good. Um, Gives flavor. And then they have um, this meat called carne china meca. Um, all the Chinese that have immigrated to that part of Mexico, they, um, it's kind of like beef jerky, but it's pork jerky. Um, they just hang out the jerky there. They do it, they slice it up, and they put it on these mamelas, and then they put cheese on top of it. And then, of course, you have to put your spices on top of that as well. So good. Um, they have it in all parts of Veracruz, and um, it's like if you haven't eaten one of those when you're in Veracruz, like you haven't been in Veracruz, like you have to eat one while you're there. Um, they, one thing that's really funny about all parts of Mexico, I'm pretty sure, um, unless it's just in the south, they have these gas trucks that go around and um, they have little songs that they <laughs> sing with them. Like um, in Tabasco, they have tabagas and the songs, <laughs> the songs like, Ya llego hasta tu casa, ya llego tu gas, el mejor por la confianza, solo taba gas. And so like that will be going around while you're doing your scripture study in Mina. It's Mina gas and they're just like Mina gas. And like at first, wherever you are, you're like, what? Like, what is that? And then it becomes so like white noise to you that it doesn't even bother you at all. And you're so used to it. But um, you memorize the songs. In Veracruz, they have, um, always at night, they have the panaderos going around selling pan, um, selling sweet bread, and um, they have their songs as well, and you memorize those. Um, I don't know. It's just these small little things that you kind of just ignore. They become so part of your life, but at least for me, when I came back home, I missed it so much. Um, I missed the panadero singing his song. I missed the smell of tortillas being made in the morning. There was just these small little things that um, living in Veracruz and living in Tabasco, you only get while you're there. And then you come back and you're like, wait, this is missing from my life. So, Both in Tabasco and Veracruz, you will find salamanders everywhere you go. They just live in your apartment and you just live with them. Um, in Veracruz, I feel like there was more. like. They were everywhere. They were in the La Capilla. They were in the baptismal font. Um, you just you get used to them. They're there. Um, the cucarachas are everywhere. They swarm you. Um, 
but it's also chill. <laughs> um, I guess, yeah, Veracruz, the main difference is the weather. Um, it is colder up there than in any other part of the state, like uh, any of the other states. Um, when I got to Mexico, it was so hot in December, and then the next December when I was in Veracruz, I was wearing like two sweaters because I had first become accustomed to the weather, but second of all, it was freezing to me when it was only 80 degrees. Um, the winds blow really, really hard there um, because it's so hilly and um, blows hard. You can like hear the wind going past you in those areas. Um, something else about Veracruz is the church there is growing faster than in any other part of the mission, I would say. And obviously I wasn't in the other states, and I know that they had lots of baptisms there, but I feel like in Veracruz, the membership, once they were, once they were baptized, like they were firm and they, were, they would stay. Um, it wasn't just because of their favorite missionaries or favorite things. It was they knew it and they would stay. Um, they, the different zones or the different stakes were competing, per se. Um, to get another temple. Um, they, they traveled so far in Veracruz to get to the Villahermosa Templo um, that they were trying really hard. And I remember talking to one member and she said, yeah, one time um, uh, authority came and said that if there was gonna be another temple, there would have to be another stake in one of these areas. And in Quetzal, there would have to be two more. And in Mina, there'd have to be one more. In Akayukan, there'd have to be one more. And they were just kind of like, racing. The members were to like try to like race to make that other stake happen. Um, I don't know if they're going to get another temple anytime soon because you know that's not just by numbers it's also by where it has to be but they really want it um, because they know if there's a temple there that there's going to be more blessings and um, that more people will probably find more interest in the church because at least in Villahermosa they knew if people passed by the temple they'd be like what is this white church and they'd want to know more and they kind of wanted that in Veracruz as well.